I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play a slime cat game. This is the Eldritch Teller. It is an original televisual occult interactive, the latest in divination. Come before the Eldritch Teller. Headphones recommended. Pay $2 or more for access to the story replays. So this is a divination simulator. So we're going to get some, some divinations, I suppose. Hello, friend. Nice face hole. Do you mind if I just... Put my hand in there. I kind of want to just, just put my hand in there. Is that is that inappropriate? How will the story end today? I got some really warpy CRT effecty stuff going on here. Please sit tight, traveler, and enjoy. Ever since you were a child, you had always hoped you would find yourself on an adventure. True. In all that time, you never took into consideration that adventure could happen at any time. Oh, I just got wrecked. You've been waiting in an important call, possibly a life-changing call. Why does time feel like it stops to a crawl at these important moments? The phone begins to ring. Time to make a decision. Triangle, wait. Triangle with one of those martini olives in it. Wait, oh. Yeah, that, that sounds like me. Sit paralyzed in anxiety. That's... That is definitely what I would do. Everything has been leading up to this call. It's strange to think that in this day and age, we still make phone calls, but hey, that's just how it is. There still hasn't been any nationwide adaptation of data calls, so it's that got that old analog feel to it. The one little analog relic in a world of ever-connected digital devices and services. If only you could find the strength and courage to answer that call waited all day for it and now it's happening it's terrifying change is hard natural difficult your hands are shaking harder and harder with every ring of the phone everything reaches a point where it's as if everything is shaking this is ridiculous you may be a mess but not this much of a mess attempting to focus temporarily you notice it isn't you but the apartment the apartment is vibrating and it seems like some little trinkets on the coffee table are lifting themselves into the air. The anxiety might really be getting to you, or something really weird is happening. You put your hands over your eyes and take long, deep breaths, focusing on your breathing. Everything seems to come to a calm. The phone is still ringing. You get up and answer it. It's the company you did an interview with for a while back. They are offering the position to you. Calmly and quietly accept the position, slump on the floor, and listen to the hiring details patiently. The end of one story, and the beginning of another. I didn't plan on doing this voice, but I kind of like it. Up, oh, Dead. Okay. I've been meaning to, like, do, like, record a bunch of my voices and, like, give them names so I can, like, think them up on demand. I meant to do that literally multiple years ago. I think I will finally do that after this video. Oh. No? Oh, is it because oh, the story replays? Is that the $2 thing? I'm confused. I thought it was like so that you could save your stories. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll I'll check that out. I I am confused, but yeah, that that was pretty cool. I I want to see more of that, so uh, I will I will see if I can get that to go again. I. It, I would recommend making it clear that story replays means being able to play the game more than once. That's not really what I thought when I read it, but, uh, hold on. Okay, I think we have the, we have the replayer now. The replayer, yeah, that's, that's not what I was expecting. I, uh, might make that more clear that the replayer lets you play more than once. I mean, that kind of makes sense after you hear it, but going in, we wonder how will the story end today? Please sit tight, traveler, and enjoy. Ever since you were a child, you had always hoped you would find yourself on an adventure. We already saw this one. 
I already saw this one. What did I do? I figured I would get a different one. Is it a different one every day? Well, it's jumping right at it. Sure. Launching yourself in the air, you feel similar to many of the cartoon heroes you've watched as a child. Too bad you're not a cartoon. You really didn't think things out before going for it. You land badly. Your ankles ache furiously. No bones are broken, but you've slipped on the carpet and caught some fractures around your cleaning chair. Good try, though. Good try. You gave it the old college try. Looking over the phone at the table, it's vibrating its way to the edge of the table. Hopefully it'll fall. <laughs> you can crawl over it. <laughs> This is what you get. This is what you get for being excited. This happens. Moving towards the table slowly, you notice the weird sensations in the back of your neck get more intense. You sense something behind you. Your roommate was supposed to be out late tonight, though. Huh. Your roommate is always being an immature prankster. Sometimes you wonder why you ever rely on such a little troublemaker. Somehow, apostrophe, are you a little jerk? Oh, somehow are you a little jerk never ends up in the, fr the future roommate interview sheet. Just because somebody's trying to get their giggles on all the time. Possibly stoned doesn't make them a bad person or a bad roommate. At least he's been up on rent, never misses a beat. Sometimes we are misunderstood. Still hard to excuse them for being a troublemaker on your big day. They really shouldn't uh, even be here. They had been talking to you. About their plans for ages. It's good to know they have a good, cool crew to spend time with, even with everybody being so busy these days. It feels like oh, the world's spinning faster, and we've all had to learn to compensate. It's causing us to drift apart. The only way to get back at any pranksters with your own pranksterisms, which is the world you just made up, which you're hilariously proud of. This is what happens every time I fall on the floor after jumping around, getting too excited. This is very accurate. Game. You decide to fling your arm behind you, hoping to hit them in the leg before they can even register you've moved. You believe yourself to have this sort of unworldly, super quick reflexes, but it's really just childish. Your arm hits something, but not a leg. For a moment, you felt like what best could be described as metallic wa water, and then nothing. Sensations turn to nothingness, a physical sensory void. This is wrong. Something is wrong. You turn your body around to face what is behind you. For a moment, you see a very decadent mirror. So ornate and majestic. It seems pleased. Just as quickly as you notice it, it is gone. You try to flex the muscles of your arm, but it feels wrong. Looking down, you see that from the elbow down, your right arm is gone. Absent. Nothingness. No blood. Just nothingness. This is why you don't be excited about opportunities, kids. The end of one story. The beginning of another. The beginning of how I lost my goddamn hand. That's, that's a fun story. I'm not sure how this works with Itch.io's app. I think I reinstalled... I installed... Um, here you go. Um, I replaced the itch.io the itch.io thing seems to install this one by default because i mean it's it seems to be the default one but i replaced the content of the itch.io apps folder with this uh the teller replay win and uh it seems to be working now do we only get the one story though that's a, that's a little disappointing if so i'm not sure if it's like a different day a different story well if it all looks the same, I guess we're going to calmly walk over. Um, I'll try this myself tomorrow, and if it gives me a different thing, maybe I'll do another video. Um, or anybody in the comments, feel free to tell me if I did something wrong or something. But, uh... Excuse me. You may be waiting for an important call, but that doesn't mean you have to make a fool of yourself because of it. Like a cool street cat, you take your time enjoying every step towards the phone. This call has held you up your entire day. It can have the patience to wait a moment. That's right, Parker. Who needs the phone anyway? 
It's just an important call. Nothing important. That's right. I don't need that crap, Parker. I have a very sophisticated voice. Yes. You're a cool adult that deserves nice things. I don't know if it actually says that, but Parker is in my way. You uh, move to answer the phone, but a large orange cat steps in your way. He's very fluffy, so you don't want to disrupt him. You pet him, but uh, somehow it only makes matters worse. He just rubs into your hand. He seems very excited, but somehow you wanted to get him to leave. But this only makes matters worse. <laughs> He's just looking at me like I'm an idiot. Um, you're a cool you're, you're a cool adult who definitely deserves respect. This voice no longer seems fitting for the tone of the story. Never really being the sort of person to be relaxed, to take calm, faultful steps, you're noticing that this is just a total foreign experience to you. So I can't I can't laugh with that voice. I'm, I'm not sure how that voice would laugh. I'm not sure that w voice would laugh. That voice would just be very serious. Very serious as I pet my large orange cat who is really kind of in the way right now. Sniffing the microphone, bumping his head. Perhaps you can hear his little whispers. <laughs> You're so cute. Yes. Um, such a small little thing, but it feels totally new. What would life have been like if you weren't such a quick, reactive, and impulsive child, you wonder, as you pick up the phone? Parker, you're in the way. The ringtone is chiming in ways it usually doesn't, as if the sound is coming through a tunnel. Like a cave of crystals, the sound echoes through vibrating each, each little particle. Your phone feels almost magical in your hands. And goddamn, if you haven't pumped yourself up for this call, you're ready. Sliding the phone unlocked, it's the call. You throw yourself backwards onto the couch. You land perfectly. Maybe too perfectly. Aw, oh, yes. Nothing feels right. You answer hello, but as you do, everything around you seems to fade and change. Looking around calmly, because you remember you're a cool adult who definitely deserves respect. You notice a very decadent mirror floating above. The mirror doesn't seem to show a reflection of where you are. It seems to be more of a window to your apartment. It may be shrinking, or is it that you're falling? You're finding it strangely calming to float through this infinite ether. Sound crackles through the phone, which is, which you really didn't notice was besides your ear. Who could pay attention to a little thing like that, a situation like this, with a new reality around yourself, with a tall orange cat sitting to my immediate right, who is kneading the table for some reason, sniffing the microphone, rubbing it sensually with his scent, marking it, claiming it as his own. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the sound from within the phone feels so impossible. Your brain aches from exposure to something it never really wanted to witness. The sounds turn into words. You are not welcome. The only thing you can muster is the hell? They shouldn't have brought you here. You notice all the crystals closing in on you. It seems they're being controlled. You struggle as they cover you. Terrified and crystallizing, you scream back at the voice. Take me back. Wait, take me back. Uh, I don't know how to do take me back. I don't, I, I don't have a voice for this one. Uh, take me back. I didn't want any of this. I never, I never brought you here, echoed the voice around you. As the crystals grow in your skin, a light engulfs you and all that surrounds you. The light is gone as quick as it came. You find yourself back in your apartment. Your heart is beating furiously from adrenaline. You feel a cold, strange chill in your hands. In your hands, you find a large crystal from before, encasing what was once your phone. It's so decadent, beautiful, and contrast to your basic apartment. Inside it, you can see a message frozen on the screen. We are sorry. We didn't mean any harm. It's all you can see. How are you going to answer job calls now? <laughs> the end. <laughs> the moral of the story is have anxiety. I guess. Okay. Is that...
So is there only the three stories? I mean, it was two bucks, and I mean, I do think more people should support cool, weird stuff. So I definitely don't regret spending two bucks on that. That was very fun, but uh, I'm just surprised if there's only one story. But yeah, I'll, I'll see. Maybe there's another story, like maybe it changes by day, or maybe that's all there is. I don't know. They were very... I was expecting something like maybe procedurally generated, but I guess Slime Cat doesn't really do those. See, so yeah, this is thinking about it. I've just been playing too many procedural weird games. That's probably all there is. But yeah, that, that was that was pretty cool. Wait, I just Parker. I just want to see if maybe there's a thing for doing all of the other choices. Uh, no. Well, what do you think, Parker? As a large orange cat rubs his face into my hand, I pet him aggressively. He seems to enjoy it. Purring slightly, just sitting prone. As I release my hand, he nearly stumbles from the force he was exerting against my hand, like the whole world crumbled behind him. But still, he smiles, for he is getting pets. You should see- I wish you could see him. He is, like, at a 90 degree angle from reaching into the pets. He just loves the pets. Yes. 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 I need to do more Parker videos. I'll do more soon. Perhaps I'll narrate them like this. 